Hi everyone, I'm CBS 3 on your side consumer reporter Jim Donovan with this week's digital consumer brief. First up, Google is looking to expand into the wireless business. It announced this week that it intends to start selling cell phone service. Google won't be building its own cell towers though. Instead, it will operate on the networks of existing carriers. A launch date will be revealed later this year. BlackBerry has unveiled a new smartphone called the BlackBerry Leap. It's set to replace the Z3 launched a year ago. It will be priced at about $275 and will be available in the U.S. starting in April. BlackBerry will also roll out two more models featuring keyboards in the coming months. Apple and Google are working to fix a security flaw that may have left millions of Americans vulnerable to hackers. The newly discovered encryption flaw is called Freak Attack and could affect anyone who used a mobile web browser on any Google or Apple device. There's no evidence that the hackers have exploited the vulnerability. Sony is promising a high-tech 3D experience when it releases its Project Morpheus virtual reality headset in early 2016. The headset works with Sony's PlayStation 4 console and a camera. No price has been announced just yet. J.P. Morgan Chase has agreed to a $50 million settlement in the so-called robo-signing mortgage case. The bank will make payments to more than 25,000 homeowners. Federal regulators say J.P. Morgan Chase rubber-stamped foreclosure documents that were not actually reviewed. If you've already celebrated the big 3-0, it may cost you more to find the perfect date. Tinder has launched a premium paid version of its popular dating app. It has enhanced features like being able to change your location, but it will cost you $9.99 or $19.99 if you're 30 or older. Those are the consumer headlines so far this week. Remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for the latest recalls, scam alerts, and travel deals. I'm CBS 3 on your side's Jim Donovan. See you on TV.